Hey there, welcome back. I have an Ipsy again. I'm so excited. Can you tell in the sound of my voice? I have been staring at this package for three days now and finally I was like, it is filming day. It's also the weekend. I just like, you know what, during the work week I'm so exhausted. By the time I get home, it's either I'm going to the gym or I'm going to bed. So weekends are the only time where I feel like just energized enough to film. I have, I keep saying this, I have videos. I filmed an, a life update a month ago and uh, it was like, it wasn't a fun one to film and I was crying in it and so I didn't upload it. I didn't even want to edit it because I just did not want to watch the video. Like, because you have to watch it to edit it and that just felt like too much for me. Uh, maybe I'll edit it, I don't know at this point, like maybe I'll just do a new one and I won't cry this time and maybe I can make it through a video and actually feel okay enough to upload it. That's not what this video is about though. This is Ipsy. I'm excited. Um, if you guys don't know, so Ipsy itself, the bag is $12. So you get five sample size items, sometimes full sized. Um, and then you also have the option of doing uh, Ipsy Plus. So what I have in here is both. And then they always throw in a few little creator things um, and I will try my best to differentiate between what you actually get and then um, some of the creator stuff. But it's more so like uh, monogram, like personalized, like Ipsy Studios type things. We'll see. I'll look at my phone and see if I can find any clues from the email they sent me. Info-wise, like I said, the Ipsy bag is $12 a month. You get five sample size products. And again, like sometimes there's full size. Um, or the Ipsy Plus, which is $25 a month. And it also has over $125 in value in it. And then you also get uh, five full size items in that. So I'm going to do the Ipsy bag first, the smaller one. I've already undone the tape, but I have not actually looked inside. This is November's box, FYI. Discover Yourself is straight on there, and they always package it super well. I'm always impressed. Look how cute this bag is. It is a faux leather. The colors in this are gorgeous. It has a little Ipsy colored uh, tassel zipper. Okay. Okay. <laughs> First thing I'm pulling out, ooh, it's by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This has to be full size. This is a lip gloss. There's no way that this is not. It's in the color Moon Jelly. I don't know how I have gone this long without this in my life. It's been years, you guys. Oh, it's just a, a very neutral sparkly clear gloss that is going to be in my purse ASAP. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but my uh, nickname in really my whole life is, um, well, it's not a nickname, but like, like lip gloss girl. I always had lip gloss on my lips at all times. I used to always use the Hollister lip glosses and then Bath and Body Works, the CO Bigelow. If you guys, they still sell them and I still have some, but I'm more so just like cherry chapstick and that's it. But when I'm feeling fancy and I'm going somewhere fancy, I always put on lip gloss. Never lipstick. Some, I mean, sometimes lipstick, but I always end up taking it off and putting on lip gloss. Um, I just love the way it makes my lips feel. It's very silky and it's just, I don't know. I just always feel prettier with it. Um, but I'm excited for this. And I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't have a lot of stuff from them. I've used their uh, eye pencils before. Super nice. I've never had a lip gloss though. And that has to be worth a decent amount. The next thing is by Ico. Oh, God. This is a rock out and lash out mascara in black. You guys know I love getting mascaras, especially sample size, just because I deal with a lot of like eye styes. So I always feel terrible if I get one and I'm like, well, now I have to throw away my mascara when if it's a small size, I, I just, it makes me feel better about it. So I always, always, always love getting sample size mascaras. The next thing, oh, I love Glow Recipe. This is by Glow Recipe. It's the Banana Souffle Moisture Cream and it's calming and hydrating. I am obsessed with their watermelon line. It is so like lightweight and just makes you a little bit dewy. It's perfect for summer. When it's winter, usually my face needs a little more moisture than that because I get very patchy 
dry in some areas and extremely oily in others so uh, the watermelon is not like year round for me but I've never even tried their banana one it already looks a lot thicker I can't really smell that because there's a thing on it oh it smells like bananas that smells really good kind of like the rents bananas I'm excited to try this and then we have oh I'm so oh I've heard about this this is by Tatcha this is the deep cleanse it is clarifying Japanese loofah fruit extract for normal to oily skin I don't have Tatcha stuff it's very expensive I always hear people talking about it I have zero reviews to give you but after I use this I will review it maybe I'll have to do an empty soon um I love this will actually be perfect I love taking uh <laughs> weird but I like having a moisturizer and then a cleanser in my purse because I love washing my face like after work especially when I have my mask on and I just feel gross so I'll just wash it and then head home but like I have an hour drive which is miserable sometimes um and I don't like it when my face feels disgusting so it always just makes me feel better before I head home and that's a perfect size to put in my purse so that's where that's going is that just me? Does anyone else do that, like, wash their face after work, during work? I don't, it's just, I have OCD, so, or tendencies. I, oh, what is this? Oh, <gasps> this is, oh, this is so cute. This is by Tarte. It's a Sugar Rush Lip Sip Vegan Lip Oil. This has to be full size, too. How cute is that packaging? That is literally the cutest packaging. Tarte and their Sugar Rush line. I've seen this at Ulta before. Or is it Sephora? I want to say Ulta. Um, what? It's in fresh pressed. And, oh, it's just a little peach, like, translucent color. This is so adorable. Oh, and it has a little rubberized gripper on it. How, how could they not, like, there's literally nothing they could do to make this cuter. This is going on my lips right now. Mm, that feels nice. It's not like as slick as I was picturing. Like it feels like it's actually gonna stay on my lips. Can you see that? Can you see that? I, I know they have to be just like popping right now. Mm. Okay, well this makes it really hard because, okay, I'm gonna say absolutely my favorite thing in here is this because I, I'm a sucker for packaging anything like adorable. It will suck me in. But all of this is adorable. Like, look at all these colors. Okay, numero one. I'm excited about that. And then I'm also, like, mm, I want to say, like, there's, okay, there's absolutely nothing in here that I am not excited about. But a second favorite, if I had to pick, I don't want to pick another lip gloss because it probably would have been Anastasia. But the, I'm super excited about the Tatcha um, cleanser. So I've heard so much about this brand and I've already known that I love glow recipe so it will not surprise me if I enjoy that maybe oh that's mm, this is perfect oh actually see I'm getting ahead of myself this whole bag I can just take to work with me and then put the lip glosses in my just regular purse but if I just have this because this is everything I could ever need cleanser moisturizer because I always have to afterwards my face will get too dry um, and then mascara if I want to feel extra spicy but probably not because honestly if I'm just having a bare face like I feel better without any makeup on but you never know you never know if I want to go out to like get wine after work or something we have a really 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 adorable and delicious winery right next to where I work and um, they have wine slushies there and I'm always super excited about that I think we're going there in two weeks. But yeah, if I ever want to do that. But anywho, that was the glam bag. Super, super impressed with this. I want to say this is probably one of the best ones I have received before. I think my second favorite was December, like 2014-ish. They had an Urban Decay uh, foil, not eyeliner, mas not mascara either, eyeshadow in it. And I think that was, I was like, it st sticks out in my mind, so I know that was one of my favorites. I actually have a card in here. I did not last time, so maybe I should I read this. Uh, be present. Hashtag blessed. This month, take a moment to notice the beauty that surrounds you. When you focus on the little things, you'll find you are rich in reasons to be thankful. I have a lot of reasons to be thankful, and I 
listed some of those reasons in the video I made. I know I said I cried because yes, there were moments in the video where um, I just, the last month and a half has like been really, 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 really awful and really awesome all at the same time. Um, I'm not going to go into it. I will start crying again. I had a very traumatic like moment a month and a half ago, but I also have been dealing with some really, really positive things too. So it's helped my mental health a lot uh, because I know without the positive things, it, I, I, I don't even want to think about that. Anywho, so we have... There's actually not any info in here about the product, so I'm going to stop reading it. But, anyhow, um, let's go in and see. I want to say that everything in here is actually in the, I don't think there's any monogrammed or personalized Ipsy stuff. So, this should be one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's one thing in here that I don't think is going to be in the glam bag. Okay. The, the, oh, this is so cute. With the bag first, if anyone you want to know. It's just like... It's a bag, a drawstring bag, cloth. The first thing that I'm gonna pull out is by Tristique, and it is a, what is that? A Good Vibes Mascara Curler and Lash Enhancing Mascara. What does that mean? This looks like, this is a mascara, you guys. You see how big this is? So you can see my confusion on how this is what it is. Icelandic Black is the color. <laughs> that is huge like it perfectly wraps my hand around it that's so big what flip down to curl flip down oh the <laughs> it's a little curler like a little baby so do half your lashes I have not curled my eyelashes in like five years I just that's something I don't do I remember doing it once being like does this really work? I don't, I didn't notice a big difference and so then I never did it again. Um, and then there's a mascara in here. Do you, how do you, how about how, where, is there a mascara in here? Is this, I don't understand. Is there, it's Icelandic black. There has to be, right? Okay. I was not turning it hard enough. There's the mascara. It's just, a black mascara wand. <laughs> this feels like a lot, in my opinion. Um, and I also hate the fact that when you're done with the mascara, or I guess you don't have to throw it away, but I don't know. It seems, it, I, I just wonder how much this is. I'll find out and it'll be on the screen, but I want to say this is probably going to be more expensive than a lot of you are going to ever want to spend on a mascara. Um, I love the concept, having it all in one. I just hate the idea that I would want to throw it away after, you know, finishing the mascara portion. We'll see. If it's like a normal mascara and like 30 bucks for a nice brand, that's, that's pretty awesome. But if this is like 50 bucks for a mascara, then I'm going to say I'm not as pleased with that. Very cool. Never seen that before. Um, kind of intense looking. Oh, I love eye brushes. I am actually needing to go through my brushes and get rid of a lot. Ooh, these are nice. These are by the brand Farah, and they came with five different brushes. And it says, oh, I like when they actually tell you what it's for. So this is for wings. This is for um, short shading, mini tapered blending, large shading, and then a tapered blending. And they're very soft. They're definitely synthetic, which I appreciate. I'm pleased. I feel like if there's never a bet, like mine right now are getting a little ratty. You know when they start, like when you wash them and they're just like everywhere? That's what happens to a lot of brushes. Although I do have one MAC brush that I've had since I was 12. It was the very first time I ever got makeup. My mom got me some single eyeshadows and she got me the brush with it. And I still use that brush and it is still one of my favorites. So there are some brushes that last forever and some that you just need to replace every few years. Ooh, speaking of brushes, this is by MOTD. And I love that it has a little, like, you know, cafeteria workers wearing the hair nets. It's 
kind of what it has on it. Ooh, yes. This is nice. This is by, um, well, MOTD, but it's called a Perfect 10. This feels a lot like the It Cosmetic brushes, that like super, super soft feel. Oh, that is going to be so nice for a powder. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, by Violet Voss. I have not had anything from them in a while. Um, this is a six color eyeshadow and press pigment palette. The package itself feels so luxurious and rubberized. Oh, the actual palette feels the same rubberized texture too. Okay, let's see what colors. I'm going to guess it's very fall, like jewel tones. Oh, no, no, no. There are some summery colors in this one, but also up my alley in the colors. I would use all of those right there absolutely and yeah maybe during the summer I would use like the pinky orange but these are beautiful like everyday wear that's a fun one I have a uh, event to go to on Thursday with my boyfriend which that was in the update video that I never uploaded um, and I feel like I should wear makeup to it so I'm gonna take you with me and use you and then I think that this is the last thing that would be in the glam bag. Oh, no, 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 this is Kate Somerville. I love her stuff. I usually cannot afford it. So I'm really confused how it managed to get into a glam bag plus um, because upwards of like 80 bucks for her stuff. Um, this is the goat milk moisturizing cream. And I actually had a Sephora uh, worker one time. Uh, recommend this to me and I remember telling her I was like yeah and I'm sure I would like it but do you got anything cheaper for me because I could not afford that at that time this is a condition and restore and it says growing up with eczema my mom would put goat's milk in my bath use this cream daily to help replenish and nourish skin use it a.m. and p.m. I oh it has a little winky face when you open it how adorable is that so excited for this. Oh, very runny. It doesn't have like any strong scent to it. Like they clearly didn't put perfume in it, which I appreciate because my face is very sensitive to that stuff. Um, so freaking excited. This is awesome. And then I think that this is an add-in. I'm not positive. So maybe some of you will get this in your bag, but I'm pretty sure that this is an exclusive to um, the Ipsy Open Studio members. This is by Farah. It's a matte boss liquid lip pigments. It says a lipstick line with the busy modern woman in mind. Our liquid lipstick packaging is square shaped so your lipsticks will stay put when you set them down. No more chasing away runaway lipsticks. It's true. Okay, there are three in here. And I think this is like their debut from what the card said. So I don't think they've like Hit, or they're just like launching now. Oh, Chester, here's packaging. He's coming. No, nothing. There's no bubble wrap here, bud. Okay. Oh, these are like hefty. I have the colors Farah, Coco, and Tiffany. Let's open them. If, do any of you watch Shit's Creek? Because I swear I hear myself, both Myra and Alexis coming out of my uh, mouth a lot. And it makes me laugh because clearly I've picked up a lot of mannerisms from them and I don't know why. Especially when I'm at school sometimes. I'm more Myra at school and sometimes Alexis with my friends. Um, it's weird. Anywho, this is the color Tiffany. It is a very like fall uh, berry-esque red. Very pretty. That is going to... Oh, yes. I need to learn to wear lipstick and, like, not get it all over my face. That is Tiffany. That is so pretty. Let's do Farah next. Farah from Teen Mom is the only thing coming to my mind right now. Oh, that is a red. That is red. This one's Farah. She is a 
fiery red, my friend Natasha would actually just love me to death if I gave that to her. I might. That is beautiful though. I don't have a red liquid lipstick. Um, the next one is Coco. It's the last one. I'm very, very excited to know this. Like on the package, it kind of looks like Farrah. Not Farrah. Um, Tiffany. Ooh, it's even darker of like a burgundyish brown. I'm going to put that one next to Tiffany just so we can see the difference. Ooh, that is pretty. That is a fall color if I've seen one. So, Coco, Tiffany, Farrah. I'm going to say my favorite is probably going to end up being Tiffany, but we'll have to see. These are so freaking pigmented. I wonder how much these are because these are nice quality. That makes me want to paint. Just looking in the viewfinder, that is beautiful. Those pigments. I need to get into painting again. Okay, that is everything. Um, let's do a favorite in the glam bag. I'm going to say, even though I'm super stoked about the eyeshadow palette, I am the most excited for this goat milk cleanser um, moisturizer. Just kidding, from Kate Somerville. I'm so excited about this. So, I like don't know how i feel like all this is worth more way more than 125 dollars we'll see i'll have it up on the screen now my guess is going to be more near like the 150 or more route um anywho loved this loved both of them if you don't have a ton of money to spend obviously the glam bag if you have you find yourself in a good position where you can spend 25 dollars a month um you like we can't sit here and not say that all of this is not worth 25 dollars like at all so I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys soon in a video. I'll try to upload the life update. I gave you a few little hints, but I need to just put it up. It just stresses me out thinking about editing it. So, <sighs> anywho, I love you. I love you a lot. I will see you soon. Hope you are having a beautiful November and happy early Thanksgiving. So excited about that. Okay, goodbye.